Well, in light of the recent just cascade of failures with this thing as a 98 machine, I've decided to make this a newer machine. Maybe an XP machine for a while, and once XP is out of support, maybe a, uh, a Linux box. This is what the 98... This is what 98 was running on, this WD-400. It's still running on that now. And you can see my just ever so professional way of uh, stopping it from shorting out, putting on top. I put, I literally have this hard drive sitting on top of a bag of RAM. <laughs> so that's pretty bad. And, well, I need to update the BIOS. It, the machine is complaining because I put a 1 gigahertz copper mine in here. And I have just the thing. AT&T floppies. <laughs> So, go in here, grab a disc, and uh, get this whole thing started. There we are. Appears to be getting started there. Read error. Oh, great. Great, hold on. I wonder what happened. I'm gonna try and format this disk here. Let's format it and see what happens. Will it be able to format the disk? Okay. Do a full format of the floppy. This monitor, I swear to God. Windows could not format this disk. Either the selected capacity is not valid for this disk, or a disk is damaged. Well, shit. Apparently it's bad floppy season, because I had a bad AT&T floppy. Oh well. Piece of shit. Anyhow, uh... Let's, uh... Start this, this BIOS utility up again and see what we can do here. Yes, I signed my life away. Yes to all. Alright, let's try this again. Will it work this time? It's reading. There we go. Well, that was fun. <laughs> These floppies are old, and I paid a dollar for them, so... This is, that's what happens, I guess. Lifetime guarantee. That means that floppy I just threw at the door has a lifetime guarantee. I'm going to go to Lenovo and be like, Hey, I want working floppy. <laughs> so I'll let that write. Well, it's good to know that this compact disc pro EN has a good floppy drive. And the disk has been created using Windows 98. Ah, oh, wonderful. So, now we can shut the machine down. Of course, take the floppy out for now. Uh, there are other things you should do before updating a BIOS. And one of which is to get rid of uh, USB hubs, which have, and all these cards here happen to involve that, so. I'm going to remove every single PCI card from this thing and then update the BIOS. Alright, I've taken all the PCI cards out of this thing. Now let's try to update the BIOS. It's going to boot from the floppy. This is back when you had to make a boot floppy to update the BIOS. Yep, there it goes. You know what helps? Plugging in the VGA cable. <clears throat> Into the onboard video here. Let me, uh... There we go. That might help. Loud little drive. Memory size is not different from the last startup. What are you talking about? Dumb computer? There and now it's booting from the floppy. Starts up DOS.
Please, God, no power outages. All right. Fairly nice looking utility, actually. Just tells you to wait. <sighs> Shut up, monitor. Current the current BIOS is 2.04, and the current and the uh, the one on the disc is 3.14. I think it needs an update. And my phone's telling me I have low battery, so this better hurry up. Turn the light off. Maybe that'll help. It's working away. I hear the fans speeding up. That's the power supply fan speeding up too. It's very important when updating a BIOS to n just not touch the machine at all while it's updating. Fans are getting louder for some reason. Yeah, there's a cable here that I can't really remove yet. Yeah, listen to that. These fans are just getting louder. I think that's just because of the nature of the BIOS update. A backup image of your current system ROM has been created. Okay, that's good. So now let me try to get this thing out. There. All right. Continue. Heed these warnings seriously, because you will brick your machine and have to get a new BIOS chip if you screw this up. Now all you should theoretically, you shouldn't have to worry about that. All you should have to do is press enter, walk away, wait for it to finish, and then be done with it. And there you go. Now it's uh, updating the BIOS. That fan is getting awful loud. Do not reboot or power cycle your machine. And it it must be advised, don't do this when there's bad weather outside because if there's a power outage, goodbye machine. Or unless you have a UPS, it's all right. But, you know, there you have it. And there you go. BIOS updated. That was pretty quick and painless. Do you want to reprogram another device? I don't think so, so exit. Alright. Power cycle the system, hit the button there. Let's see if it worked. If it worked, the computer should not bitch at me about the processor anymore. Yep doesn't bitch about the processor anymore. Yep, we're good. We are good. And wow, is it a lot faster with that uh, uh, upgrade thing. Okay, we're good. That's pretty cool. There's the bag of RAM it was sitting on. It's just a bag full of SD RAM and some uh, DDR2 laptop RAM. Oh, brother. Well, that's updating the BIOS. That's how you used to have to update the BIOS back in the day, was just with a boot floppy. Uh, it was pretty quick and painless, but now you can do it from within Windows, so it's even easier than it used to be. But that's the way it was done back in the day, back about 12 years ago, and even farther back than that. <clears throat> that's updating the BIOS on the Compact Desk Pro EN, so I could uh, use the 1 GHz Coppermine processor I installed in here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.